Hey everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm doing an unboxing on the all new LG Reflect for Straight Talk Wireless. Let's get it started. Okay, so the LG Reflect is an all new device for Straight Talk Wireless. This phone is also known as the LG K51 that you see over on Boost Mobile. Um, but this here works on the Verizon network and it is an all new device like I may mention. And so let's go ahead and look at some of the specs. There of course is the first look of the phone. Now this phone does run Android 9 Pie, has a 6.5 inch HD plus display, talk time up to 18 hours, standby up to 20 days, Wi-Fi capable of course, fingerprint scanner, up to 32 gigabytes of internal storage, has an SD card expansion up to two terabytes, has a triple camera setup, 13 megapixel plus five megapixel wide angle and plus two megapixel camera and a 13 megapixel front facing camera, a two gigahertz octa-core processor and Bluetooth 5.0 wireless technology. Let's go ahead and open the phone. Okay, so here's the device. Let's go ahead and put it aside for a moment and see what and all does come in the box. So we have your SIM ejection tool right there. We have your straight talk terms and conditions, your LG Reflect quick start guide, as well as a fast charger here in the box, as well as your USB type C charging cable. Let's go ahead, put all this away and we'll look at the phone. Okay, so the phone is in hand, and I gotta say, this phone looks really nice. It has a really nice, glossy, dark blue look to it here, and it kinda changes a little bit depending on what kind of lighting it's in, but um, really nice looking device here. There's your fingerprint scanner, triple camera setup with flash, track phone logo, LG branding down here. On the right, we got your power button and your SD card slot up here on top secondary microphone on the left your spaced volume rocker really nice stuff there as well as your google assistance button there on the bottom is your headphone jack microphone type c charging port and bottom fire and speaker and on the front here you'll see the some more specs full vision notch display 6.5 inches has 3 gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of storage with a 4000 milliamp battery so really nice stuff there let's go ahead and peel off this front protector here and we'll go ahead and give it a boot up All right LG life's good powered by Android so uh, yeah really nice 6.5 inch display uh, really nice build feel I mean it's got a really nice hefty build to it so I'm really excited to use this phone here uh, light up here for notifications really nice there as well so uh, I'll go ahead and get it all set up and I'll come back when it's finished okay so we're all set up now and ready to go and honestly just by looking at this phone here from the back this phone just looks really nice I mean LG really done a good job in my opinion with the design of this phone but anyway got the fingerprint all set up let's go ahead and check that out now and it's not the fastest. Let's check it one more time. You can see it's just a bit slow. It's not the fastest fingerprint scanner I've ever used by far. Uh, but here, of course, is your display. And the display looks really good. 6.5 inch HD plus display. So it's not full HD. It's just 720p. But the display is nice, crisp, and clear. There's really no problems here. Now, this way here, of course, is all your Google stuff. Once you get everything all set up, it's there. Got your, just your drawer, app drawers or app screens here. Swipe up for your app drawer. And there's not a whole lot on this phone from boot up. Now, it may install some, a lot of straight talk stuff once it's activated. But right now, you know, you have Facebook, of course. And um, you have FM radio, which is nice. Uh, One weather, all your Google apps up here. So typical stuff that comes on all Android devices. And over here, you got your media, FM radio, and your music app. You also have your productivity, which is calendar, contacts, quick memo, and files. And your tools is one weather, clock, audio recorder, calculator, smart cleaning, start, and accessibilities there. So 
the phone feels and looks really nice. Now this phone does run the two gigahertz octa-core MediaTek Helio P22 processor, um, which is kind of an outdated processor. I, I had phones with that processor from a couple years ago. So they're still using outdated processors in, their, in these kind of phones, which I really don't understand why, uh, but that's just the way it is. You had the Moto G Power, this 30 bucks more that runs the Snapdragon 665, which is more of a mid-range, higher-end processor than what you're seeing in here. But, you know, optimization is everything, so we'll see how this performs against the G Power, you know? So, so anyway, let's go ahead and look at the drop-down here. And it looks like dark mode might already be turned on. I don't know. We'll see. A capture plus, Wi-Fi, silent, Bluetooth, all your... Just all your navigation stuff there, DTS, X, 3D, surround. You have your location, comfort, view. Let's go into the settings here. So, yeah, dark mode's not on yet. Android 9 may not have it. Some phones have it on Android 9. A lot of phones don't. We'll see what happens. Network and internet. So, you have your Wi-Fi, mobile data, advanced call, which is HD voice, call, tethering, VPN, wireless stuff, private DNS, all that stuff there. Connected devices. Bluetooth, sharing panel, file sharing, and printing. So there is no, uh, let's see how the brightness is. Uh, auto brightness turned off. Lower the brightness down just a little bit here. That may be a little bit too low. There we go. So no NFC here on this device. Down here at display, got your home screen. So you can select home and app drawer or just the home screen, whatever you prefer. I prefer home and app drawer personally. Wallpaper, screen swipe effect, icon shape, Google feed. Show to the left of the main home screen. So it's kind of nice if you don't want that Google feed being there, just turn that off and it goes away. Uh, grid, 4x4, 4x5, 4x6, or 5x5. So you got plenty of choices here to choose from. Um, search, home screen lock, all that kind of good stuff there. It does have a uh, night mode. So I'm really glad to see that here on this device. There's the home, there's the back button. Okay, disappeared there for a moment. You have your app scaling, display size, uh, brightness, screen timeout, mini view, just uh, you know, a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, really, some, some really nice features here on the device. Lock screen and security. Fingerprints and pattern, pin, password, uh, secure lock setting, customized lock screen. No face unlock feature on this device, but that, and that's all right. Extensions, smart clean in here. So you can see that this phone has 32 gigabytes of storage. 14.5 is in use. You get 17.47 gigs free. You know, I think it's sad. I mean, they advertise 32 gigs and you get 17, almost half the storage. I said it before, I want to say it again right now. I think that if they, if the box says 32 gigs of storage, they are to add enough in the phone to take care of the system storage to give you at least close to what the box says. If it says 32 gigabytes, you should get at least 30. 29, you know, something like that. You know, they ought to add enough in to take care of, you know, I mean, half, almost half the storage gone. Uh, anyway, three gigabytes of RAM in this device. That's just always been a really, a really big annoyance to me. So anyway, got your gaming mode, dual app, knock on, knock off by double tap to wake or sleep. Uh, something like that. I can't stand it personally, but hey, it's all good. <laughs> Battery, you got your... Adaptive battery, background restrictions, battery saver, uh, battery percentage. So that's always turned on next to the um, status, uh, the battery icon. Storage, like I said, 45% used already. Ridiculous. Let's see. Um, yeah, system is 14 gigs. Ridiculous, in my personal opinion. Um, accounts, Google, system, memory, this phone does have three gigabytes of RAM, as you can see right there. So we're gonna test this phone out just to see how this phone works every day. I mean, the P22 processor from MediaTek Helio, hmm, we gotta just see, okay? I'm not uh, saying if it's good, if it's bad until I actually use the phone with gaming 
and and everything else because i mean you know spec sheet is a spec sheet and you never know how a phone is until you actually use the phone so anyway let's go and look at about phone and you can see here it runs android version 9 with december 1st 2019 security patch so hopefully it will get some security patches maybe get android 10 we'll see what happens there uh but yeah it looks good i love the design i love the color how it's made flat phone i mean it's just a flat looking phone and i really like the way this phone looks let's go to the camera here for just a brief moment and um you know it takes a little bit of time to open up some certain apps um so yeah anyway you got your photo mode you got portrait mode so you can of course adjust your blur accordingly you got your video mode, AI cam, and you got more here for food, flash jump cut, or go straight to YouTube live from your phone, which is always a really nice little feature. Now in the photos, this button here goes to your wide angle and then back to regular. Let's go into the settings. You have your full vision button down here, turn that on or off, but you have a 13 megapixel camera drops down from there you got full vision there and all as well um we'll look here also at the video and see the settings here for what you can record in and you can record in full hd 1080 hd full vision 1560 by 720 or 16 by 9 hd 1280 by 720 so no 4k here no 60 frames per second here so yeah it is what it is um got your some filters and stuff up here yeah filters and some little uh stickers and stuff like that that you're waiting for it to load up and pop up but we'll go back home from now and of course your front facing camera right here in video mode and photo mode so definitely some more testing is needed i'll take a quick picture here of the straight talk box that it came in and we'll just see um how it does look so Let's go ahead and give it a focus. All right. So let's take a look at it here. And under these lights, photo comes out looking really good. I mean, no blurring, no fuzziness. It looks good. So it should take some really good pictures outside. All that kind of good stuff. So yeah, that's just a look there. I mean... I'm noticing a bit of chop here, you know, not bad, but I'm noticing that it's just, you know, LG does some good things, but they always seem to just skimp out on something that's important. And I think in this phone here, it's not really the storage, it's not really the RAM, it's the processor. Now I have no problem with MediaTek processors, um, and for the price point, you know, is what it is, but It'd have been nice to see them put, you know, something a little bit more powerful in this phone processor-wise. Um, for 150, you know, like I may mention in my last video, the Moto G Power is 180, so 30 bucks more with a 665 processor. It has more RAM, it has more storage. So I don't know, but anyway, this is my unboxing, first impressions, and just overall look here at the LG Reflect aka k51 the self a little informative in any way hit that like button let me know down below in the comment section what y'all think of this phone and um if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so hit that bell for notifications i would appreciate it y'all have a good one and thanks for watching